Welcome to Straight from the Muzzle, folks, where we are anything but straight. My name is Space. And I'm Bean. And we welcome you guys to our episode, which is about what today? Fursuit crushes! We're fat furries! <laughs> if you guys don't know what fat means, it's an abbreviation. It's pretty hot and tempting. It's like an 80s, 90s term, but... Yeah, <laughs> it's an older I, term, isn't it? I, I kind of liked it. I'm just like, I've always wanted to use the word fat in, in something, and I figured this would be the best way to do it. <laughs> it is the perfect opportunity. <laughs> Absolutely. But before we get started with this, we do want to throw a disclaimer out there, and Bean's going to go over that real quick. Okay, so we didn't want to have to go through and making a post like, hey, send in your favorite fursuit crushes, because we didn't want people to get sent in without their consent. Uh, so what we ended up doing to collect all of these images of like the fursuits that we're using is that I went through the fursuit crushes tag on Twitter. So the fursuits themselves have, you know, they've already been posted. So they've, you know, given their consent by putting it on the internet already uh, with the tag fursuit crush. So every image that is seen in the show specifically, all the images have been pulled on Twitter and all of the names that we're going to be saying are the names of the Twitter handle, not necessarily the name of the fursuit. Uh, so if you want to look these characters up, then the names that we are speaking are the Twitter handles. I also wanted to mention that um, I tried to make sure that every single fursuiter here in this episode are 18 and older, so we are not, you know, judging any minor in this way since this is about fursuit crushes. Um, one other thing I do want to just kind of just say out there too is um, you may see a Twitter post on our account about fat furries wanting you to post your favorite crushes. This has nothing to do with mer suits, so you guys can take it that way if you want to, but it is not meant to be like that. Okay, it's yeah, just friendly crushes. You have a crush on something, you have a crush on someone, and you kind of like fantasize about it. That's kind of like this almost, except just a little bit more fun and playful. Yeah, it's just a, this is just a little, a little playful show, and and also we're we're going to be doing a rating system, which we'll explain here in a minute. But just remember that all of this is in playful fun and not to take it seriously. Like, absolutely if, not. Yeah. If, if a character is rated like as a five out of ten, we're not calling them ugly. It's just this is a playful game, and you know, just just take take it lightly. <laughs> this is just a little fun thing we're doing. And it's, you know, it's a good little, uh, it's a good old Valentine's episode, too. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that's right. I just realized on the, on this character that I have, uh, for our YouTube thumbnail, the mm -hmm. back shoulder blade, the way that she, like, Deer Dog created this, the way that she creased the back of it makes it look like there's a tiny little butt. So I got double, <laughs> I've got double butt on my you Double back. cheeked up I, I, on a Tuesday afternoon. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off with our very first fursuit crush, which is one of my personal favorite styles. Felix also really loves this type of fursuit as well. And what is this one called? Okay, so this this um, fursuit comes from Vincent on Twitter, and it's a kimono suit. What's a kimono suit? A kimono suit is a style of fursuit that's very, like, Asian. I think it's Japanese? I think it it's is It's a Japanese, Japanese style of fursuit. It's, yeah, I would say it's like, mm -hmm. let's just say what's, it's an Asian <laughs> style fursuit. Because um, you do see this a lot in this particular area of the world. Um, I really like that it's just super duper freaking cute. It is so cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and explain our rating system, how we're going to start off with this one. Okay, so our rating system is there's cute points, hot points, unique points, and expressive points. So cute can be up to three, hot can be up to three, and then unique and expressive are two points each. So that would add up to um, 10 points total. Perfect. Yep. So <clears throat> I would give this one a solid three points for cute. Oh, yeah. I would give it three points for cute, um, but I would only give it one point for hot. Yeah, I'm, I'm there with you. Sorry, that, I wasn't sure if I was going to burp there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, I'll, give it a, I'll give it a one for hot point. It just, it's, it's not something I find hot. 
Yeah, um, it's not. I don't think it's like hot or sexy as a suit. I think it's just it's so cute that I think the cute takes over the hot. Now, but I think it's it's unique enough to have full two points. Oh, absolutely! Just because it's a style that you don't see in America, and if yes. you do, it's super rare. Expressive mm -hmm. points. Two. I would say two because even though the mouth isn't that big, the eyes have so much expression, and they're huge, huge, and shiny, big old, big old eyes. All right, so how many points is that out of 10? That would make eight out of 10. Awesome, all right. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. I'm not the biggest fan of this one. All right, this next one is pretty popular on Twitter in the first suit crush tag, actually. This is Vex Werewolf. I just, it's not my first, you know, pick. We'll say that. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's really cool looking, and I know I, you can't see them in this picture, but I follow this character on Twitter, and I know he has a full set of abs under there. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> under, sure he under does. Under behind his knee. I just, I just can't see it because of the way he's crouching. <clears throat> yeah. Um, as far as cute point goes, there's one. Just I would say one. It's not a cute fursuit. It could be cute if it was in a different pose, but this is not one of those poses. And, and it's like a more realistic style. Which tends to have a hard time being cute. I think it's what they call, what, feral styles? No, it's just realistic. Oh. Feral is, like, um, on all four, so that'd be, like, a quad suit. Oh. Okay. Um, hot points. I know that you really like this character, so I will go ahead and let you rate this one. I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say three. Okay. Just because I know the general population also tends to like this character as a three out of three for hotness. Okay. Um. Uh, Unique? Unique, though, I would say one. Yeah, I would say because one, too. It's it's a naturalistic suit. It doesn't have that many, like, unique markings or anything, which isn't a bad thing. No. It's just, it's nothing, like, super unique. But it is very expressive. Absolutely. I think I would give it a two for expressive. Definitely a two for expressive. So where does that because leave us point-wise? That would leave us with seven out of ten. I know math. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's Sunday. <laughs> We're not expected to perform at our best. <laughs> All right. The next one I personally like. I like to call it a carnival ride because that's what it reminds me of. This next character is Tion. Tion. This is a really it's interesting first suit for me because of the colors that are used. If you look at it full body, you can you only see like waist up in this picture but if you look at the full body it's like a full gradient like a sunset it's really pretty yeah it's got lots of really pretty colors and you know i bet it would be kind of interesting too depending on how you brushed it you could probably get different different looks out of it yeah yeah um i do like the puffy paws but if if you're like me and you can't really see the last little puffy paw um of the left paw <coughs> downwards and that's as if you were the character facing out. It kind of looks like an ab. And I'm like, oh, wow, they got cool abs. And I'm like, oh, actually, that's that's a finger, not an ab. Never mind. That's a finger. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so for cute points, I will give it a two. Yeah, I think two is appropriate. And as far as hot points go, depending on what your choice is here, I would probably give it a good two, if not a three. I think I would give it a two, yeah. Okay, so a two there. Uniqueness definitely. I would a full say full two. two. A full two. Yeah. Just because of how unique the markings are and the colors that go with it. What yeah. About expressive points. I would say two out of two for expressive because the the expression that's on its face, it's it's not just a standard smile. It's very unique looking. It's very lidded. I like it a lot, and I think it really conveys what the character wants to look like. Don't they also have like magnetic eyelids? I think they might have magnetic eyelids, yeah. It's possible, but we could be wrong on that. <clears throat> All right, how many points is that out of 10? That would be 8 out of 10. Awesome. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next one. This one you liked. Ooh, lot. yes, I love this suit. All right. This character is that pastel boar on Twitter. And you don't see a lot of boar fursuits. And this one seems to be mixed with a unicorn because it's got that <laughs> that horn popping right out of its forehead. And I Boar's think that's excited. really cool. <laughs> oh my god, space! <laughs> Why? 
It could be a floppy horn, you know. <coughs> Don't be nasty. I'm fine. I just want to. I just want to rub it. See if like a like a genie pops out. Um, oh my god. <laughs> I like it too. I like the cute. What I like about this fursuit, it's just not just like you said. Like it's not just a boar. It's got part of its ears kind of like bitten off, as if it was like out in the wild. So I kind of like that. It's it's fun. It's playful, right? I also there. like the floral fabric that's on like the inside of the ears. Oh, I never really noticed that until now. It's super cute. Oh, that's cool. Um, <laughs> so as far as like the rating system on this one, I definitely give it a three for cute for a three out of three for cute yeah i think i would give it a three out of three for hot as well yeah i would i would give it a hot because it's you know because the horn i would give it a hot <laughs> yeah well because the boobs too oh the... my god <laughs> just you the way need... you worded that i will give it a single hot i will give it a hot <laughs> throw a flame on there <laughs> unique points I think... I'll give it a two. I think full too because yeah. you never see this species and the colors are really cute. And you don't see people that line the inside of ears with floral print either. Yeah, not very often. Espresso points, a definite full two as well. Yeah. So this would make our first 10 out of 10. Ding, ding. All right. <laughs> Moving on. The next character is Sunny Dingo, which was all over the first year crush tag. Why? I did, you know, he's a really popular suitor. Yeah, okay. And he's a made-for-you suit, too, which is also, like, the most, like, top-tier fursuit company, apparently. Yeah. They've made the most fursuits in the community ever. Well, just because you make a lot of fursuits doesn't make you a great fursuit maker. Practice Anyways. makes perfect, though, to be fair. True. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> so, for this one... I don't necessarily like this particular fursuit. It's not the fursuiter, and I'm nothing against the person inside of it. I just don't, it's not my thing. Um, so with that, I'm going to hand points over to Bean, because Bean likes this fursuit. She'll rate it better. He's, he's all right. Um, let's see. Cute-wise, you know, with the, the expression, I feel like it makes it hard to be, like, pure cute. So I think I would give it a two because it's not not cute, but it's not like, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because the expression is more sassy, which can be cute, but I don't think in this instance it is. Okay. What about hot? I think I'll just go middle grounds for hot because I, I'm a lesbian. So masculine characters in general usually don't get full hot points for me, but. Which is ironic um, because a lot of lesbians are also somewhat masculine. That's true. That's valid. I mean, I do have a weakness for like a certain male image as for character designs. Uh, but I'll give him I'll give him a two out of three for hot because right. I know a lot of people do think this is hot. What about unique points? Uh, I'll okay. say one out of two. I will give it. Okay, I'm gonna jump back into this because I can. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a two, and the only reason I'm giving it a two is because of this freaking eye like lid thing yeah the expression is really good yeah and i don't know i wonder if the expression like that is like permanent or if it's something that they can just like magnet put on and off i think it's permanent huh okay well <clears throat> i gave it a two for unique you give it a one so we'll go with we'll go with two it's two. fine and then expressive points i would say two yeah it's pretty expressive yeah it's total points on this one that is an 8 out of 10 for Sunny Dingo. Yay for you. <laughs> Moving on. Now this one's cute. What? <laughs> it just, you're, I wasn't enthusiastic. I just wasn't enthusiast. Like, I'm not enthusiast for that one. Yeah, I'm making that a thing now. <laughs> I give you, I give you, what was it? I give you hot. And I I'm give not, you a hot. <laughs> I give you a hot and I am not enthusiast with you. So there you go. Two things that don't exist but now do. Um, what is this one that we're looking at? Uh, this user is Skedaddle Doggo. They own a few fursuits, but this is my favorite one they own. Um, I, I don't remember the character name, but it's a very cute puppy. I think it's Archie, just because that's the Archie? tag. That, that's the one they're wearing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably it if that's the bad. <laughs> this is really cute. Who makes this suit? Uh, this is a more for less suit. Oh. <laughs> and it's a three-fourth suit, so it's to degrade legs, arms, and a head, but no torso. 
it's those two fursuit makers are too close a name. Like you got made for you and more for less. I just don't like fur pun names for, for fursuit less. makers. <laughs> I I like puns, but I like it. It just depends on how they're used. Um, this particular fursuit is just super adorable. And I believe this is a drop crotch fursuit. Is that right? It is. Awesome. Those are all, those automatically get bonus points. Um, so for cute points, full I'm, three, full three hot points. I know this character has like magnetic lids where it can have a sultry look to it. So I feel like I could give it a, a two out of three for the hot. All right. All right. I'm a, uh, I'm a give it like, I'll give it a two unique points. I know it's, it's just a dog, which, you know, m most furries are canines, but mm -hmm. The markings on this one and the one floppy ear. I don't know. I feel like it's more unique than the standard canine suit. All right. So we'll give it a solid two. What about expressive? I'll give it a solid two. Solid two for expressive as well because, you know, more for Little less suits guys. are all super expressive. Yeah. And it's just really cute. And that gives us a total of what out of 10? Nine out of 10. Hey, hey. I like <laughs> this one better than the last one. Moving on. <gasps> <laughs> oh yeah, this is Sheep Belly. This is the cutest one out of all of the fursuits in this compilation. This one's my favorite. It's so cute. Where do I mean know where to really start with this one? Other well, okay, so the little like blush marks, those are I'm sure that's actually added on as a as like a filter because there's no way there were stars well, here when see. they were taking pictures. Um, oh yeah no that's that's edited but i love the glasses on it i think it's super cute what really makes it is the additional plushie of this character in his own hands yes so flipping cute it so, looks like a little anime plushie it really does this and it is probably another kimono is. suit as well um this one gets bonus points so cute points <laughs> are now one out of five and i give it a full five you give it a full five. Oh my gosh. Yep. What about you? <laughs> I agree. I'll go with that because okay. it's the cutest thing ever. Hot points. I kind of like it. It's kind of hot. I kind of want to. I, I would give it a two it's because blushing. you know, like you know, people who have like, like cutesy and like the that whole like big plush look. There's a lot of furries that are into that, so I can see it having a two. Just a two. A two. Okay. Because it's more cute than it is hot. Well, okay, but it's always the quiet ones that are the naughtiest, so Oh my god. I'll give it a I'll give it a two as well, I guess. Unique points, one out of two. five. Oh. One out of five. Hey. Bonus points. Why just one? No, I said it's one out of five. So Oh, okay, so five. God, this character is gonna have so many points. You're yeah, breaking the rules. I am I can break the rules. I I made the rules, I break the rules. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> What would you and give it? Um, expressive, I would give the full points. Full points, full two. So, with me breaking the rules on points, where does that put this particular? That's a first fourteen <laughs> out of ten. Out of ten. Whoop whoop! It's such a <laughs> cute first seater. I hope to meet them one day. Good lord, oh, I just want to see the whole thing. All right, moving on. The next character is Shang Fu Dog. This suit is so fucking cool. It's cool, but it's not cute. No, it's not cute. It's so cool, though. I guess I could see some people that would think it's hot, though. It'd be really good. Yeah, I would give it a one point for cute, but three points for hot. It's too hard to tell, just given the way that they're standing and the, the way that the photo's taken. I can't tell if they're short or tall, but this would work really good on a tall person. I think they are tall. Um, I, I I'm not sure... How I feel about the not so great transition of the lower legs into the feet paws, but other than that, the rest of the suit is look, looks great. That could have been done. What about better. unique points? I think it's a full two out of I two. I a full two out of two. Yeah. 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 And then... but expressive, I think just one because again, it's a realistic suit, so it has such a static face, which isn't. That's not necessarily a bad thing. That'd be more of a bad thing for toony suits, but realistic suits, it's. It's, like, standard. I think you're going to hate me when I say this, but... Or maybe not. Maybe you'll agree with me here. I feel like the expression on this fursuit head is the same expression that people do taxidermy on their walls. I can see that. Yeah, you know. Uh, but it's not like... 
Uh, like it's so. not unnaturally boring. It's just it's there. there. You know? It's just there. Um, <clears throat> what's the points on this one? That would be seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Moving on to the next one. Ooh, you like this one. Yes, Girl, you like I love this, this one. one. This one's so cute. This is Shade Raptor. She is gorgeous. What kind of raptor is she? <coughs> uh, probably a, a Utah raptor. Okay, cool, cool. A feathered I'm raptor. <laughs> I'm from Utah, but I've never seen a raptor before. Oh my god. Because they're dead. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> <clears throat> no, this one's really, really cute. I fucking love this suit. I would give her a three out of three for cute points. Definitely. And she's quite hot, too. I would give her a three out of three for hot. Yeah, agree. Unique? Hello. I would also say full two points for unique, because you don't see a lot of dinosaur suits, and no, this don't. one has really cool markings, <clears throat> and the scales on the legs and the arms are really cool. What about expressive? Hmm, what do you think? I think, yeah, I'll give it a full two for the expressive. It's got a smile yeah. going on. Its mouth is open. And it's got, then it's it got always, really nice eyes. It just looks like it's always happy. Yeah. So that's, that's a like 10 a, out of 10. Wow, look at that. Congrats if you're watching. <laughs> Moving on. Ooh, I really like this one, though. Ooh, this is one of my, like, personal fursuit crushes. Um, God, the name is hard for me to pronounce, but it's like Rio Lip. Lepidoptera? <laughs> so let's see. Rio Lepidoptera. <clears throat> Leo we'll Lepidoptera. Rio. Rio sounds cute. We'll go with that. God, she's so pretty. There's a, a lot of... it's. There's been a few people I've seen online calling this suit weird because it's, like, more humanistic in the face. And I'm like, that makes her more unique. Like, look how pretty this suit is. All the markings on the back. If you If you see pictures of just her back, it's supposed to be, like butterfly markings and they're gorgeous do you know if that's her real hair no it's not her real hair okay it's a wig it'd be kind of cool if it was <clears throat> this is a classically great looking suit but you have to have the right body type to pull it off um a fat person would not look good in this i would know because i would not put myself in something like that i think this person is plus size actually are they really mm -hmm. no yes no way. Okay, that's well, what makes it look good. <laughs> well, okay. Well, whatevs. If you're like overly huge, Kane, you got like, you know, you're wearing yeah. like spandex and you can definitely tell there's like rolls upon rolls upon rolls. That's I can good. see that. I can see that. Yeah. But I like the detail. I love the colors. I love the face. Um, is it a cat though? I think it's her own thing. Okay. I would say that this is what cats the movie should have gone after is this particular aesthetic hell yeah hell yeah because that movie sucked and i didn't have to see it to know that <laughs> <clears throat> you know it's funny so taylor <clears throat> swift was actually asked if she regrets doing the character or the role for cats and she said no because she had absolute fun doing it she got to sing in it which is what she does she got to learn a new dance technique so I think it's pretty cool. I mean, for some for a movie that really did not make any money whatsoever and spent an incredibly huge budget, it's kind of cool for someone to say I don't regret it. So yeah. Anyways, points here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give this T Swift bonus points. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! So the points are now one out of five for cute. What would you choose? Five. Hey hey. And then hot points, one out of five. Five. Hey, hey. And then <laughs> unique points, one out of five. I'm going to go with five because look at those markings. Like, holy shit. And I don't know what's going on with these little, like, I don't know if it's like petals, but they're cute looking. They're or it's so a bow. Cute. Maybe it's a bow. Oh, it is a bow. It's a bow around her tail because she's got yes. a bow around her. Hey, that's cute. Okay, so um, expressive points, one out of five. What do you think? Five. Five. So this is our first, like, full-on. This is a 20. <laughs> this is a 20 out of 10. <laughs> 20 out of 10. Because <laughs> that's how we do. <laughs> Sweet. Congrats. Okay, moving on. 
All right, this character oh. is Pudgical. No. You're not a cat person? No, I love cats. I just don't like this one. Oh, I think this character's pretty cute. I just don't, where's their neck? They have no neck. It's a big fluffy neck. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> um, I think this character's really cool. Like, I like the shapes of the fingers. I think the eyes are really cool. I don't think it's especially cute combined with the expression that it has. So I'd say probably one out of three for cute. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a one. Um, hot points really depends on your particular taste. You could probably. I think I would give it a two out of three yeah, for hot because I know two. this character does have a set expression that some people could consider to be on the hot side. Mm. Um, unique points though. I'll still give it a. I'll give it a two out of two for you for unique because you don't see a lot of house cats, and when you do see house cats, they're never like. The this. fluffy, like, ones, you know? And I do like the eyes on it, too. The way the colors are really well done on the eyes. Mm -hmm. It's very cartoon-like. I like that. Um, expressive points. I would say two out of two. Two out of two. And in case you guys are wondering, that's probably Toby in the background. Is that right? Oh, yeah. He's playing with his bells. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I <laughs> like it. I think it's, I think it's fun. I think it's fun when there's other noises and pets in the background. It makes it more fun that way. I have a zoo in my bedroom. Literally a zoo. Please, oh, whoops, I went too far on that one. Please tell everyone what you have in your room. Um, I have a Pac-Man frog. I have a tarantula. I have a cockatiel, a budgie, and a green cheek conure. And then in my other apartment, I have two more tarantulas and a, a full-grown ball python. And that's that's where her fiance lives, isn't that their apartment? <laughs> so yeah. that's a lot of reptiles. The tarantula freaks me out. You know, I just think of like a Home Alone moment where it just like starts crawling all over the place. Uh, <laughs> no. She can't get loose. She's there is actually, up. you know, as as much as I don't like spiders, there is actually a YouTube channel where he like has like hundreds of spiders and he feeds them and he shows like changing out the water. Have you ever seen that one? Kind of got Where like, the spiders are like attacking his tongs? Yeah, yeah. I don't like that channel because I've I've owned tarantulas for a while and I've owned a few different kinds. And tarantulas aren't typically violent. They don't usually attack tongs or anything like that. Um, like when I feed my tarantula, I usually have to throw the cricket on her for her to actually attack it. If I just put it in there, she'll just ignore it. I have to, like, bonk her in the face with it for her to eat it. So, like, I know this guy is irritating his tarantulas before he films in order for them to attack the tongs that way. Like, he's probably poking them and, like, shaking them around to try and get them angry first. What if, though, the, the, the types of tarantulas are actually like that species-wise? The if it's a more colorful tarantula, like if it has any yellow on it or any blue, then yeah, they can be more violent. Like cobalt blues will probably attack tongs if they come too close. Um, but rose hairs, anything that's brown, which is most tarantulas, they don't give a fuck. They just chill there. Hmm. They just like I could pick up my tarantula and it won't like do anything to me. So he probably is irritating him. Anyway, I think he's I think he's poking <clears throat> them around. What, uh, what did we give the... What's the full total points out of this one? Oh, for Pudgical, that would be 7 out of 10. Awesome. Moving on. Don't you just love our side tangents? I love them, too. <laughs> okay, this one's really cute. Oh, I love this suit. This <clears throat> is Ford's start? Moose. Where do you start with this one? Okay, first of all, <clears throat> y'all, this character has braces. Hey. I've never seen a fursuit with braces outside of this suit. It's and it's super so cute. well done and so cute. They look realistic. Yeah, I wouldn't they be do. surprised if someone actually bought braces. No, because they wouldn't make them that big. No, huh. these are these are probably <clears throat> casted or something. These are kind of cool looking though. Um, where to start on this one? The nose ring, the braces. I don't know. It's just cute all around. It's so <clears throat> cute. It has to have the full three points for cute for me. Uh oh, looks like we're doing bonus points again. Okay. <clears throat> You know, because I'm so sorry. I don't mean to keep like. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's because I'm my my throat slowly becoming drier <laughs> and drier. My water's all gone. Okay, cute points. One out of five. I'll give it five. Okay, hot points. One out of five. Hmm, I would say three. Yeah, I'll give it a three. 
unique points. One out of five. I'll give it a four because of like the braces and the markings. Like I've, you don't ever see braces, first of all, and the markings. I don't know what kind of canine this is, but the markings are very cool and like. It's not a canine. It's not a canine. It's a moose. It's not a moose. It is a moose. It's not <clears throat> a moose. <laughs> it's a canine. Their other persona is a mo is a moose. What if this one is the moose though? Without the, it's not the, the moose. I've researched it. It's not a moose. Well, okay, whatever. <laughs> it's funny we had this argument before we recorded this. <laughs> so, it's not a moose. Well, agree to disagree then. <laughs> it, moose don't have noses like that or ears like that. It also has no horns. All okay, moose have horns. What if it's horns. a deer? What if it's a fawn? Oh, my God. Could be Space, a fawn. I'm going to fly over to Utah and I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, I wouldn't travel today or tomorrow because it's supposed to be a full-blown snowstorm tomorrow, but whatever. Oh, I hate snow. Yeah, so do I. And yeah, I live in Utah, so that's weird. Um, it was warm enough in Georgia today to wear a short sleeve shirt, so that was nice. Yeah, you know, it wasn't too cold today. I could probably wear shorts and get away with it today. It was easy. I went and got my car washed. Besides the point, though, expressive points. One out of three. Um, I would say three. And what's the total points on this bad boy? Um, hold on. This involves more math. <laughs> 15 out of 10. Nice. Not bad. <clears throat> Moving on. Oh, I just don't like this one. Oh, I love Palace Beast. This is Palace Beast. No, no, uh, no. Their character, Pal. Wait, wait. Palace Beast as in like the red one that we're looking at? Yep. Okay. Just want to make sure. That's Palace page. Beast. What's so Palace about it? I like this suit. This isn't a good photo of it. I, they don't have professional photos of their suit anywhere posted. They're all just like incognito shots, but I have seen the suit in person. Um, I like it because it's got a really cool body shape to it. It has a really cute head. The ears are cool. He's really fucking tall. I think he's almost like seven foot tall. Oh, gosh. I don't know if you heard that. That was my throat. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. <laughs> it's like, what was that? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> um, I like that it has pecs. I'll give it that. <laughs> the only thing that does bother me about the suit is that you can see the seams. And, mm -hmm. like, I, my, a fursuit, if you're a fursuit maker, brush out your seams. Like, maybe the fabric and there she goes. won't allow the oh. seams to get brushed out, but it literally just takes a couple of minutes to brush the seams out. Yeah, and... I just... Yeah, because otherwise it kind of looks like it was like stitched together, and maybe that's the look they're going for. But if that's the look you're going for, that is quite the unique look. I like the suit, but I know you don't, so we'll have to go middle ground on this one. No, we'll go with we'll <laughs> go with your points on this one because you like it. I think it's it's from the for like the perspective of Twitter as well. I think it's less cute and more hot. So I think I'll get a one out of three for cute, but two out of three for hot. Okay, for cute, we're going to go ahead and give it an extra point because there's a human in there. So two points for cute. What'd you give it for hot? Two. Three points for hot because, uh, you know, the human. Though I don't think the human's that hot. I'm taking the human out. What are two you points talking for about? Hot. What human? There's a human in this. In this. There's the big red fursuit and then there's a human on the right-hand side of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> With a puppy face. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, okay. you in the picture, you get judged, okay? <laughs> I think, unique-wise, I'm gonna go full two, because, like, the the suit shape is really cool, and I really like the head. I don't know. I just, I think it's really cool and unique. Okay, what about expressive points? I'll give it a two, because its tongue is magnetic, and its eyelids are also magnetic. Alright, so that gives us, what, a total of... Nine out of ten. Damn it, my math is really bad. It's off by one. That's right, because I gave it an extra point. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Okay, moving on. Okay, that didn't right, work. Next Let me try character. this. I love this character. This is Omu Makaw. This has got you written all over it. Oh my god, because this this person's suit. Okay, oh, I. Boobs. <sighs> Space. I can't just... say that about every female fursuit. They're going to get mad at you. No, because it's there. She's not wearing a full suit. She's just... Oh, my God. She's... Still. 
Okay, you just want me to like look at her and be like, your boobs don't exist. No, but you can look at someone and not comment on their boobs. I don't always comment on people's boobs. I usually don't. But when they're in a... When you're going to wear a backpack and it's like slicing through half of your boob there and it's really making the one look bigger than it needs oh to be. Oh, my God. I'm going to make a comment. But I wouldn't. Okay, in person. In person, I wouldn't be like, Space. yo, your boobs look amazing. I wouldn't do that. Space. In public. <laughs> Okay, Umumaka, I love her, and I've I've had Rocket. I think I got Rocket a year before she got Omu, um, but it, <laughs> I feel like they're siblings because Omu is also a green wing macaw, and her character also loves Legend of Zelda and video games and other nerd culture things that my character Rocket is also into. And I'm like, oh my god, did you make this character like are are we connected somehow because our characters are very similar and it's hilarious. Wait, like, not in a bad way. It's just hilarious. Legend of Zelda? What now? What makes you think they're into Legend of Zelda? I follow them on Twitter. They draw oh. their character, like, in Legend of Zelda situations all the time. Okay. Well, never mind then. Yep. Yep. But this character, I fucking love the suit and this character. Um, I give her a full three out of three for cute. Yeah, I'll give it a full three out of three for cute. I would also give her a full three out of three for hot. I'm going to give it a full three out of three for hot, but it's because there is a cat in the background that's fuzzy and he's gasping. Oh my God. Like, <gasps> so, okay. So three points there. <laughs> unique <Space>. points. What? <laughs> it's two out of two for unique because bird. Because bird. Yep. And <laughs> expressive bird. points. It's, it's unfortunate that we can't see the side view, but you have said that they've got a nice expression. They have a nice smile, and her eyes are very feminine and sweet, so I would give it a 2 out of 2. Nice. What does that points give us all total of? That's a 10 out of 10. Hey, hey. All right. I really like that cat in the background, though. It's like my favorite. Oh, oh I don't like this one. <clears throat> this character is North Dog. This got white privilege written all over it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, this is like your classic. Okay, I'm a millennial, and I, but I'm an older man, millennial. I wouldn't call myself in this realm because I don't wear out of fashion crap like this. But it is so classic for people to buy Supreme, and they'll pay hundreds for it, even though it's just a standard sweater. What is going on with those jeans? I, I just don't get it. And then those sneakers, really? Those ones? Those Nikes? <laughs> You, ugh, you, if you got the money, at least buy something that looks good. That's all I'm saying. Oh my god, you're just narking on their outfit. <laughs> but I do like their first two head. The first two head is very cute. I just don't like the rest of it. You're funny. You're like, I like your first two. I just don't like your body. Yeah, <laughs> your well, human I just, body. I, no, it's, I don't care about the human body. I just don't like your <laughs> choice in fashion. I think it's awful. Okay, that's funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, North Dog. <laughs> I'll probably get rocked on this in the comments where you'd be like, you don't know anything about trends. And I'm like, well, I know that I buy my own clothes with my own money and this kid obviously doesn't. So there you go. You want to know what I'm wearing right now? Don't. I'm wearing a sweater that was probably made in the 80s that I got at Goodwill that looks like a grandpa would wear it. And I love it. Yeah. And it cost me $2. <laughs> Do the DI and the Goodwill Salvation Army. They got some good stuff. They got I good just stuff. like grandpa sweaters. I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> I'm wearing a woman's jacket. And I only... and they look cute under overalls. The only reason I know it's a woman's jacket is because the zipper is on the left side, not on the right. So, did you know well, that's there a... there you go. Did you know that's a thing? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. So, I'm like, wow, this fits really well and it's really nice and warm. And everyone's like, oh my god, it looks so cute on you. And I'm like, I know, I got out of Ross in the men's section. They're like, it's a woman's jacket. And I'm like, what? <laughs> So, at least they're supportive yeah they're supportive well yeah they're supportive anyways let's go ahead and start grading this thing cute points uh, i, I want to go by first head alone and give it a two yeah i'll give it a two and hot points it's not hot i'm gonna give it a one yeah it would be a two but if they wore a different outfit it would be <laughs> a three but it's gonna be a one Oh my goodness. Um, unique points. wise, I'm going to give it a two for unique because it is just a standard dog with standard dog markings. I'll give it a two for unique because they're wearing 
this whole ensemble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as far as expressive points go, give it a one. Okay. They, they do have, it looks like they do have magnetic eyes, but let's be honest, it looks like he's high. <laughs> so it's just, hmm. Maybe that's why he's looking on the side. Because he's high. Anyways, what's the total points on that? Oh, pickle. Because Bean totally, yeah. She'll come back. Just come back. Baby, come back. Baby, come back. Okay. <laughs> pickle. What would you give the total points on this? Okay, so this would be six out of ten. All right. At least you got points. You should be happy about that. <laughs> Moving <laughs> on. <laughs> I love this one. Absolutely oh, this is, love it. I want to know. This is to another a one of my personal fursuit crushes. I wonder if it's European. No, I think he's American. Where did you take that picture then? In the fucking woods. America has woods. <laughs> yeah, but America doesn't have awesome looking stone things in the woods like this. Yeah, we do. Where? Oh, graveyards and old castles and stuff. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Anyways, this character I love. I love everything about it. It's like a the coolest looking cosplay, and I love that they're wearing just shoes. It just works really well for this character. It really does. This and and this is something I'm a huge fan of, and that I try to do with my own realistic suit is when you have a realistic partial, and you pick outfits that are like not just a shirt and jeans kind of deal like an outfit i think it makes it so perfect like this character has this whole like medieval indiana looking fight. gear it's like indian yeah it's very cool and then when i wear a rocket my realistic parrot partial i try to wear a lot of like skater florida man outfits <laughs> and snapbacks and stuff Good like Lord. people who go at the extra mile especially if you have a realistic suit to make it look like realistic outfits that something would be wearing like in the real world. I don't know. I just fucking love it. I really love this one. I could probably, I'll probably make this my background when we're done with this show. Cause it's just so <laughs> cool. <clears throat> All right. So, Oh, and this points. is Leonard wash hair, by the way, we didn't even say his name. <laughs> it's okay. He doesn't need a name. He's just good where he is. Um, <laughs> cute points. We got to give him bonus points. I gotta say five out of five, five out of five hot points. One out of five. Five out of five. Heck yeah. That thing is hot. I would let that hair have his way with me. Sorry, Felix. <laughs> but we all have those people. Um, unique points. One out of five. I would say five. That's a full-on cosplay right there. So yeah. It really is. Expressive <laughs> points. One out of five. What do you think? Because this it, is a realistic suit. It is a realistic suit. There's not, it's, if we want to go out on the limb here and say expressive because of the way they express themselves on this suit, then it's pretty good. But if we're going based off of like facial features, which was what we've been doing, I would probably give it a two just because okay. it's, there's not much really going there. Yeah, I got you. I understand that. Uh, we'll make a 17 out of 10. Hey, that's a good one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We'll go on to our next one. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Um, <laughs> because I am. <laughs> probably. Probably like Jenna Marbles. Hey, yeah. All right. What is this thing? Keel Space Skater. He is an alien alligator. <laughs> he reminds me of the alligator from... Oh, my God. What is the... Um... The Princess and the Frog? Yeah, the newer version of it, like the the Disney newer version, or or the alligator from All Dogs Go to Heaven, maybe. Yeah, you know what? I like that one better. The all the All Dogs Go to Heaven. Any Don Bluth or Disney alligator has this vibe. Like this, this person draws their alligators in that way in general, and they got their suit made that way, and it's just perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I wonder how heavy it is to wear it. It's probably made out of hollow foam. Or it's probably not not too heavy. I, I've always wondered what what kind of inflation like rubber they use on the inside of that to keep it up. 
and what what it's like to wear that like if there's like a harness and everything on the inside i'm not sure if this is a suit that's made out of blowing it up or if it's a suit that's more like a mascot that's made out of like thin foam that's hollowed out you know um i think i'm pretty sure this is one of those suits that is inflated because and i only say that because of the feet paws this is a very classic um uh, what do you call it? calling card especially the belly for a specific style of fursuit maker and i can't remember what it is but i know my friend has one just like this it's not i think he's like like a raccoon but it looks exactly like this as far as like style goes not like colors and what it looks like i saw a video of someone following this fursuit around a convention playing the tuba <laughs> and it's the best <laughs> oh that's great <laughs> that's just amazing Okay, so it's cute, but it's well, not my type of cute. I I think it's a full three out of three for cute. I think inflation furs would go wild for this thing. So, yeah, we'll give it three out of three for cute. What about hot? Hmm, I think it's more cute than hot. Yeah, so we'll just give it a one. I'll for, give it a one for hot. for hot. Yeah. What about unique points? Unique? I would say full full two points. Yeah, because it's definitely its own thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then expressive points. I would say also two out of two. Yeah, it's got a pretty. I mean, those eyes and then the smile itself is pretty nice. All right, what's the total? Make eight on out of ten. Eight out of ten. Look at you. Eight out of ten. All right, the next one is a duo. Yes, and the reason why this one's a duo is because I could not find pictures of, the char- of these two characters individually. They're always together. Uh, you know, I like it, but I just saw something that's going to bug me now every time I see it. The seams on the, the blue one the and the legs, they're almost as bad as um. the, the red one that we rated. Oh, yeah, the I palace. think it's probably made out of the same kind of fur that's hard to hide seams. Hmm. All right, I'll just cover it up with my hands. Okay, that looks better. All right. <laughs> oh my god, you're so picky about seams. I really am. So uh, I like this particular couple. I am going to dub them as Cotton and Candy. Um, oh yeah, their usernames are Kaju Coffee and Kaju Corgi. Oh, that's cute. So it's it's a very very cute style. Now we are going to rate them as if they were one person, so that way there's no unfairness even though we have gone unfair with those bonus points <laughs> so, <laughs> um, this is like who's lying is it anyway where the yeah. points make no sense yeah and they don't matter either <clears throat> okay so cute points one out of three i would say three out of three for both same um three out of three for for both hot and cute uh i will give it a two out of three for hot okay what about unique points I'll give full two out of two for unique because one, it's a pair, and then two, both of the designs are really unique. Yeah, they really are. And then expressive points. I'll give it a full two. Also two out of two. Yeah. I like that. Total points are? Nine out of ten. Nice. (laughs) Okay, this next character is Jurassic B. And they are... This is another raptor, actually. Yeah. But it's a raptor, and it looks like... The markings are based off of a blue jay, like the bird. Yeah, I can actually see that. I like the it's eyes, really though. Cute. Oh, I do love the eyes. I love this suit. I wonder if the jaw opens. It looks like the jaw would open. I don't know. Maybe. I kind of like the whole scenery, though. Yeah, it's a really it's good cute. photo. It's actually a really good place to take a photo because it'd be essentially really well lit. So. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, cute points. One out of three. I want to give it a three out of three. Yeah, yeah. Hot points, one out of three. I'll, I'll say two three. out of three. Three. Three? Three. Okay, we'll go with three. Yeah. There's something about it. Um, unique points, one out of two? I would say two. Especially since we're not quite sure if it's a raptor or if it's a blue jay or something else. It's um, definitely a dinosaur. I've seen the full suit before. Expressive points. I'll give it a one out of two for expressive. Yeah, it's not really, there's nothing really expressive about it. And if you were just going to base it on the eyes themselves, it's still one. Like, Hound's Teeth is the fursuit maker that made this suit. And that's one criticism I have of that entire fursuit brand so far is that their suits aren't very expressive. 
Like, they look good, but they don't have a strong expression to them. So I'll give it a one out of two for expression. And that's a total of? Nine out of ten. Nice. All right. Now we're on the next one. (laughs) (laughs) Now this one's Eagle Owl. Eagle Owl. Okay. Eagle Owl is a really cool looking raptor dinosaur thing. And its tail is either like a Chinese dragon or like a tiki dragon. I don't know what it is, but it looks so cool. I love this suit with my whole heart. I believe we describe this as a as a chacket or a chocket something like that um no because that's something else that's uh, uh someone's gonna get mad if i say that no um i take that back it's not a chacket it's it there's a specific style that goes with this particular fursuit um character and we kind of went over it during Furban dictionary but I don't think it's the right term for it. But I love the the tail is my favorite. Yeah, absolutely. That tail must have taken so much work. It's like it's like you would actually be really cool is if you could interchange it. So like that the tail cool. could be the head and the head could be the tail. <laughs> That'd be That'd really be cool. So funny. That'd be so awesome. So for sure on this one, I'm I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna guess it. Bonus points have been activated. One out of five for cute. I would say four out of five. Yeah. I would say like three out of five. Because it's more badass than cute. You really, know what I mean? It, it really is. In fact, if I saw that thing in the night, I'd probably run the other direction. <laughs> Hot points. One out of five. Four out of five. Yeah. For me. I just think, I don't know. I mm, It's just a me thing. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, I'm not like turned on by it by any means and it's not like yeah let's go let's oh go with God. three then let's, let's go, go with three. three we'll go with because i just i think it's just so badass but i don't think it's necessarily like sexy you know what i mean yeah what about unique points one out of five five out of five for unique five definitely. out of five definitely what about expressive five i would say five. five out of five for expressive as well because it's got two heads and hello new point category coming out badass points one badass out of five. points <laughs> All five. right, that's 17. Did you add the extra five? Oh, nope. Okay. Badass points, baby. 22. <laughs> hey, hey, we got a new contender. Top of the list. All right, moving on. Okay, let me try the that again. The next character there we go. is Dust mm-hmm. the Moth. Mm-hmm. You don't like the moth? I think it's cute. I think the head could be done better. It just kind of looks like they threw on some fabric and this is like their first fursuit head that they've made. I think it is like one of the first costumes they've ever made. Because this isn't a commissioned suit. This is something they made, I do believe. Now, the eyes are super well done. I mm-hmm. love how big those are. So this would be a really good fursuit if you have a hard time seeing out of normal fursuit eyes. Because then now you have a really good set of vision out of this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like a way better. Um I think it's really cute. I would give it a full-on three out of three. For cute? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Now, I don't think it's hot, though, because no. it's so, again, it's so cute that I think that takes over the hot. Now, it could be the fact that the quiet ones are always the naughtiest, but I don't know if this is one of those quiet ones. This is just one of those, like, ha, huh, I'm so cute. I can't <laughs> do it. I really can't. I was, I was experiencing, I was thinking of something higher pitch but i just don't have that range um what about unique points i'll give it a full two out of two for unique because you don't see a lot of moths and the way the suit is built like they're utilizing their human body underneath the fur parts like they have a fur vest and little fur cuffs and everything and then they have the the like black fabric under it oh yeah and it's like it's so well done in that way it's so unique in that way that i want to give it full two points okay and then expressive points I'll give it a two out of two for expressive because those eyes, man. Those eyes are huge. Um, All right. What what do we have here? Full on. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. All right. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Moving on. Okay. This is our second to last option here. Not option. Um, We've got Sarah's Haas. Sarah's Haas is next? Yeah. Okay. Sarah's Haas is. This woman (laughs) knows how to work a crowd. Again, another one of my first year crushes. I saw her at a convention one year and I wanted to go up to her so bad to get a picture, but I was so intimidated because she's so beautiful. She really is. 
I don't know where to start on this one. All I know is that I love every single bit about it. She's got attitude, but at the same time... She looks like she could comfort you if you were upset. Heck she's yeah. like, she's got mom energy, but she's also got like badass energy. And a little bit of sexy energy too. There's a little bit oh, of absolutely. everything. A little bit of everything that's going for this particular fursuit. And I really love it. So with that being said, bonus points have been activated. Absolutely. For uh, five cause. out of five. For whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Hold on. Because she can be a badass, she can also be mom-like, she's also quite sexy, I've extended the points to seven. One out of seven for oh, cute. Oh, shit. I, I think I'll still do five out of seven. Okay. What about one out of seven for hot points? Uh, seven. Hello. Hey. Okay, what about unique points? Hmm. The body shape is definitely unique, and so are the markings for a canine. So I think I would still give it a 5 out of 7 for unique. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'll give it a 6 out of 7, because six? if you guys have guessed it, boobs. Oh um, yeah, okay, sure. 6 out of 7. She's got a bust, and she knows how to work it. That's amazing <laughs> right there. Okay, um, and then expressive points. I would say five because she does. She has a set expression, but it's a very intentional expression that works really well. And the ex yeah, I wouldn't give it much higher than a five. The reason being is because the face itself. If she wants to be more expressive, she can do it by moving her body around or just yeah. being in different positions. But if we're going based off of the face, like what we've been doing, it's probably five. Yeah. Yeah. And that would make her. Um, 19 15 23 14, 23 <laughs> we've, set yeah. a new, we've set a new record <laughs> a new standard for hot sexy fursuits <laughs> 23 and me just kidding um, oh my god <laughs> moving on this is gonna be our last fursuit crush review i know that you like this one in particular <laughs> And this character is Asswolf. <laughs> I love the name. <laughs> the name alone is just perfect. Asswolf is a character. legend. Why? You would just have to go to his Twitter page and scroll through it to understand why. Okay. Okay. I guess I could take that. I love how bold those eyebrows are. They're not just eyebrows. Those things are two giant hockey pucks just right on top of his head. So it's just... just perfect those eyebrows need a double d broad hold them up uh, <laughs> <laughs> i love and the cool thing too the the whole like mouth expression it's not just the mouth it is the full enchilada i mean you got the tongue the teeth all the way going back it's oh not yeah everything. the mouth is really detailed as simple as the fursuit can be there's a lot of detail in that head and especially yeah. in the mouth itself so pretty good um, with that being said, bonus points have been activated. We're going full one out of five on this one. What do you think for cute points? You know what? Let's actually uh, rate it against the other one. We're going to go one out of seven. So okay. for cute points, I would say four, maybe four or five. I would give it a four. A four? Gotcha. Four for cute. But for hot points, it's definitely a seven. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Yeah, that is just, I mean, yeah, I like that. Um, unique points, seven. I will give it a seven because eyebrows, mouth, yeah. also this character. <laughs> Cheetos. This first are also, yeah, Cheetos. And also this character likes to wear super high boots with their suit sometimes. High boots? <laughs> yeah. I Instead have to of see feet. this. I got to see this. <laughs> um, and then expressive points. I would say seven out of seven. Yeah, girl, that mouth. Hello. And then those, <laughs> and those eyebrows. Puck eyebrows. Yeah. We really should just be like, we should make a bra <laughs> and then, like give it to them. Or just like Photoshop a bra around those eyebrows and be like, hey, we gave your eyebrows a support. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's the total points on him? Is it that would him? be twenty five out of ten. Yeah, it's a him. Nice. Well it's it might he might go by they. It's a they. <laughs> it's a they. It's a them. Twenty five <laughs> points out of ten. Nice. Nice. One, I think this is the highest rated suit. Yeah. This and definitely deserves it too. Congrats, folks, Asswolf. We did yeah, congrats. <laughs> we did not plan for bonus points. I kind of just throw them out there at, at random. So uh, yeah, there you go. 
But yeah, that's our show for today. I hope you guys liked all of the different fursuit picks that we chose in here. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for show topics or visual shows, where can they find us? All right. For visual shows, our YouTube channel is straight from the muzzle. Uh, we also have a Twitter and we also have a Telegram chat that we use pretty frequently now. Uh, if you have any show topic ideas or any guests you'd like us to contact to get on the show or if you want to be on the show, you can email us at talktothemuzzle at gmail.com. And if anything else, you guys have a wonderful day. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>